outside the Spurs stadium. As you can see right behind me, it is Spurs versus Norwich today. We need a win badly. What's great news to hear is that Hugo Lloris is back in action. He starts in goal. Ndombele is back, but has made the bench. And our newbie, Jetson Fernandez, is also on the bench. But we're about to head into the stadium now, joined by my dad. Hi there, internet people. How are you doing? How are you doing? We got, uh, yeah, like I said. Norwich is coming up and uh, what, what are your predictions? What are your thoughts for today? Because it's a must win. Like a must win. We must need, win. We, must we, win. But it we've, needs to be comfortable as well. None of this 1-0. Mm. Them going 1-0 up and then us trying to get the win back. It has to be Yeah, but we today. still don't have a proper centre forward. We don't. So, it looks like Sonny's going to be doing that strike one instead of Lucas today. Potentially yeah. we'll find out when we get in there. Which I think could work out a bit better, but... We also need to play right. We need a striker. Yeah. It's not really working without... It's, it's like, we knew that at the very start of January. So how we are still not sorted that. No, Typical, not. you know, we're going to leave it to the last minute again to try and get someone through the door. And that's a month wasted. Oh, there's only nine days left of the window wasted. already, it's which is just a nightmare. Ridiculous. And this whole Ericsson saga has been carrying on too much. Yeah. It's just, it's been a pain right. in the ass. But either way, I think we need to go in. We need to try and enjoy ourselves, which has been hard this year as a Spurs fan. So you're but, going for a comfortable uh, victory. Right? No, that's what we need to do. <laughs> well, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a two one squeeze like every other one. But, yeah, yeah. you know, Two one. We're going to be one nil down. Yeah, two yeah. One. One, two, uh, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. I would like to think it would be a three nil. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Anyway, kickoff is very shortly. So let's get in the ground. Cotty Spurs. Right, okay. okay, so we're in the stadium. We've got Cos here. And he's used to decide a player. If they score, the bonus amount for the charity goes to them. And uh, a charity for Right, now held the fires. Sunny scored us an extra £10 pound and every goal is a £10 pound to charity as well. So, hopefully a lot of goals today. Let's do it. Come right, on, you Spurs! Come on, you Spurs! Here goes back. Hopefully he gets a great performance in. The Spurs came back in months. Come on, Spurs! Right, it was like in October. Come on, you Spurs! Come on, you Spurs! Kick off now, come on, Spurs! Who delivered that one? The Salso did it. Yeah, the Salso did it. Delivered the ball in. Was it picked on by Lucas, I think? Damn, clean off the line! Come on, you Spurs! Oh! Whoa, what a ball! Was that, was that Mello with a volley attempt? Oh, oh, yeah. Let's right, going all the way. Come on, G. I like the look of the Celso. Oh, yeah. Wins the foul again. I'm liking the look of the Celso. Little baller. Come on, Sonny. Is it Sonny? Oh, Sonny. Is it Sonny? We need a goal from you, man. What are you doing? So you know what? The Celso has been the best player by a mile this half. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, it was the first 10 minutes was Offside, hopefully. good again, but okay. nothing happened after the 11th. Oh, yeah, assist, big fantasy. Right. So happy we broke the dead. First goal, goal for Spurs scored in the 38th minute from number 20, Delhi. Yes, Delhi needs that, man. His confidence has been low. Yeah, the I'll check He needs the goal. Jesse. Whoa! Understand. He only cost five mil. He's better than us. We've got Delhi Ali. Well, the boys are up in the second half. The first half was a bit boring. The game can't lie. It seemed exactly like Watford. Started off first ten minutes well and then just slowed down and nothing happened until uh, Warrior finally connected across and Delhi scored. So I'm hoping for a lot more goals and at least two more goals in the second half. 3-0 would be nice, 4-0 would be amazing, but yeah, we need to demolish the team, bottom of the table, we need to show, show what we're fighting for and actually try and make our way back up to the top four. Coins first. Sadly, another case of VAR taking about 10 minutes to make a decision no, that seems so obviously not a like, red card or whatever. If it takes this long, it's not a red card. It can't it's take it off the game. VAR check complete. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So 
So Wings has had to come up with an injury and Dyer's on the pitch, but uh, I mean, we've got Fernandez, we've got Lombele, we've got all other players we should bring on before him. Oh, it's been useless since then. Yeah. Eric Lamella off, Ericsson on the pitch. How many times have people been saying goodbye this club? Oh, of course, they get a penalty. We were saying this for ages in this half, that they're going to score, they're going to get something home because we haven't capitalised on anything and they've just been controlling the ball more than us this half. It's been dreadful. There we go, VAR check. It's just all this is now, it's just us sitting in the stadium, waiting for a decision to just go against us. Decision penalty, there we go. What's that, two minutes, five seconds that you took? Brilliant. Yeah. Oh. oh, you mug, he got there. He actually got his hand to it, and I celebrated like a mug. I celebrated like a mug. He got a good hand to it. Well, it's going to happen. We don't have any strikers. We can't play four wingers up front, it's not working, and it's just been the most boring game again. Yeah, we bring on Ericsson's and Dyer's when you've got Ndombele's and Jetson's and just more attacking players on the bench. Come on, Solo! Oh, great ball through by Lascelles to Delhi. Delhi has his shot. Oh, sorry. Ah, Sonny. Oh, Sonny got the bonus one. Sonny got the goal. Come on. Bonus 10 back to the charity. Go on, Sonny. Hold on the goal. Go on. That's Sonny pumping on the fence. Oh, we need that, man. It's been dead this game. Yes. Second goal for Spurs. Got in his 79th minute from number 70. Young men. Yeah. Money back to scoring, more money for the charity. So Let's bad. kill this game now. Come on! This Aaron's is actually so good. He's impressed me massively today. Come on, Lucas, play him! Come on, son! Come on, Sonny! Oh, so bad. I mean, he did thunder into it. Oh, they could have been another sunny goal, another chance. Damn, man! Yes! Oh, <laughs> again, like we said beforehand, like Dad and I said beforehand, it was a 2-1, another stress. Should have been a 3-0 final game, but no, 2-1 stress, but we got the three points when Man United are losing, potentially lost by now. Chelsea Arsenal through, Sheffield lost. We need to get, we're getting closer to fourth, we're getting there, but performances are still not good enough in my opinion, man. Ah, three points is what I'm at. Come on, Points, Come on! Right, see you okay, so I'm home now and I want to finish off with five talking points from the match today. First one, going to start on a positive note, and that is Lo Celso is different gravy. I feel like he showed he is going to be a true talent at Spurs and we definitely need to pen him to a permanent deal because he was the one that played that great ball into Delhi, which inevitably Sun scored from. And just the whole day, he was putting these nice little passes through. He was putting great tackles in and actually right at the end, Norwich had a shot which was heading towards that bottom corner and it had a very crucial touch from him to go out for a corner instead. And it's just all these little things that were adding up throughout the whole game, really proving how good he can be. Second point, I'm massively impressed with Max Ahrens today. I think he did very well going forward and in fact won their penalty. But not only that, he actually was very good defensively despite being really short and looking quite weak he, he has a very similar frame to Carl Walker Peters in terms of his height and size but he stopped Sun quite a few times defensively and definitely seems like a great target for us to get for right back so I'd love to either see him get in this January unlikely but definitely in the summer third one now is that we still still need a striker today we were just missing that final element I mean Aure was putting in cross after cross after cross albeit not all of them made it to the middle, but you never felt confident that any of these crosses were going to a target man, to someone that could finish every chance, especially with Sun being a bit out of form, Lucas not really scoring much, and despite Delhi's assist and goal, didn't actually have a great game, but that's what Delhi does. He doesn't, he doesn't get involved too much, but will still pop up with a goal and assist. So it is so important that we get a striker. We needed one before Kane got injured anyway, but now we desperately need a, a striker. Ideally two, but that's not going to happen. So I'm going to settle for one good one. Fourth point is VAR is totally killing the game. It was taking too long and it just wasn't enjoyable just sitting there, watching them just stand on the pitch, just try and make a decision that was just nothing. But then again, the referee should have used the monitor for the red card 
situation with Cantwell, just like the ref did the other day. And I feel like maybe he would have changed his mind and made a different decision, but we're just wasting time him just sitting there for two minutes it took for that decision. And it just felt pointless. And finally, we're going to end on a positive note for the fifth one. And that is that the two goals scored by Spurs today is £20 to the Australian Red Cross. And then also a bonus £10 because Sonny scored the second goal. Human Son coming through with the goal, meaning that's £30 overall going to the Red Cross. Now, I'm happy with the three points. Performance could have been much, much better, especially going into a City next week and Southampton in the FA Cup. However, we are now catching up to fourth place, only six points behind. And I shall see you guys for the Southampton game. Call you Spurs. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star.